Hi everybody. Hope you all are having a good Tuesday. You all had a good start to your week. Uh, tonight we're going to do an update on this kit that I started last week. as the AMT Earl 1957 Corvette Convertible. This is a kit that uh, Joe over at Mad Genius uh, was kind enough to send to me. And so we've been working on it and wanted to show you kind of uh, what we've gotten done so far. And just uh, show you a couple of kind of cool little things. Uh, so the first thing uh, that we, we got done, uh, we got the, got the engine put together. That's a really nice little engine. Um, pretty good detail, actually really good detail, I think. Um, I did try my hand at just doing some Doing some fuel lines here. They're probably not exactly to scale, uh, but uh, used a little bit of uh, just some stiff wire, some of that guitar string wire, and uh, bent those around and gave it some uh, fuel lines. Um, did it in, in red, which is what the instructions called for. Um, for the most part, I'm sticking to the um, recommendations and the instructions for colors, and I'm going to show you why here in, in just a few minutes. But uh, yeah, the engine, uh, pretty pleased with the way the engine has turned out. Um, so there is that. Uh, next, we've gotten a little bit of work done on the interior. Uh, we have the... Uh, we're doing the interior in beige, um, so it's it's going to be pretty much almost all beige. We have a few little, there's some silver, uh, just some silver accents in there, and again, that's uh, according to the directions. We've got our shifter in there, uh, so and this color, I think, uh, is a, just a, a rust-oleum color. It's a smoky beige, I think, is what it's called. So there's that, and then we've got our door panels. They're in the same uh, beige color, and then we've got, again, some just silver accents. Um, so there's that one, and then we've got the other one, which looks exactly, exactly the same. Uh, we've got our firewall here. I'm going to add a little, add it in a little bit of detail. Uh, it did call for this part up here to be silver. Um, I just put in the kind of the blue and the, the silver wires there just to, to add some detail to it. They were molded in, but I just added some color to them. Uh, and then we've got our, got our chassis. All, all put together pretty much. Uh, it called for it all to be black, so I just did it in, a, in a flat black and then hit it with a semi-gloss, just one coat of a semi-gloss uh, uh, clear coat. Um, so there's that. And then pretty much the last thing I'll show you tonight is we got the tires done and the wheels. Um, of course, the wheels were, the wheel covers were in chrome, and I, I just uh, hit those with some matte clear coat just to kind of dull them down just a little bit. Um, we've got our wheel backs and everything on on all four. I'll just here. Let me just put pull up all four so you can see them. They're they're all the same. But uh, one of the things I wanted to show you. Um, is on the white walls. Um, these didn't come with white walls. I painted these. Uh, they called for them if you wanted white walls for them to be painted. I said to use acrylic paint and you know I thought about that. I thought about taping them off um, and uh, and you know using my airbrush or, or whatever but then the other day I was in uh, Dollar Tree which is kind of a misnomer now since everything's a dollar twenty-five. But um, I, I found this. It's a Crafter Square metallic marker, um, and it's it's white. 
Uh, now, it says it's metallic, but, you know, the paint is not metallic. I don't know why they called it that. But you can see it's just, I mean, it's a white tip. It's kind of like a paint marker, but you don't have to, you know, you don't have to prime the tip or anything. It's, it's just like a regular marker. So this is what I used for the white walls um, on these tires, and I think they came out, you know, I think they came out pretty well. Um, I had, I did have to go over them. Um, about, I had to put about three, I had to go over them about three times, put a coat on, let it dry, go over it again, let it dry, and, and do it a third time. But uh, I think it came out really nice, and you know, for a dollar twenty-five, that's a pretty good, uh, you know, that's a pretty good solution to, uh, you know, if you wanted to do some white detailing that didn't take, you know, just some real fine detail. I'm gonna go back to Dollar Tree and probably get about two or three more of these. Um, so there was there was that. And another thing I picked up the other day too is this. It's just a it's an embossing tool. Uh, it's got a small ball on this end and a little bit bigger one on this end. And yeah, I know it's pink, but that's the only color they had. Um, but uh, you know that this is good too for like you know if you're trying to really. Uh, get your get your masking your tape to to go into some um, you know some some curves or some uh, you know around the whatever you know what I'm trying to th or trying to say or you know I think I'm thinking too with bare metal foil when you're you know trying to get it on, embossed down on I think maybe this smaller ball will work pretty well so I picked that up for a dollar twenty five. Um, I have not really done much with the body yet. In fact, I haven't done anything with the body yet. Um, I have paint ordered. Um, and one of the cool things I wanted to show about uh, this kit, among other things, it's just, it's a really good kit. But if you see here, it gives you a chart of in uh, 19, what year is this again? 1960 something, 1957. Um, in 1957, um, these were the colors, the body colors that were available. And then it also gives you uh, what color the fender coves were, uh, what color the um, interior, and what, what interior colors were available. And so I was able, I, from scale finishes, I, I ordered this cascade green. Um, and it's just a, it's a beautiful color of green. It's kind of like an aqua or a, you know, it's not quite turquoise, but it's kind of that aqua color green. And then of course it says that the, the fender coves were, were beige and the, uh, the overall interior color was beige with no accents. So, um, that's what we're going with. And that's the reason why I'm, I'm uh, you know, the interior is beige. I, I, I kind of want to build this as close to being the original as possible. So anyway, I've rambled on for eight and a half minutes now, uh, but uh, really enjoying this build. And again, I want to just thank Joe for sending this kit. It's a great kit, having a lot of fun with it. And uh want to again thank my subscribers. Um, every one of you, from the you know new subscribers to the ones that have been with me uh, the whole way, uh, you guys uh, make make this worthwhile, uh, and so I really appreciate you. So we're gonna sign off for now, and uh, we will see you on the next update. You all take care and have a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye.